Welcome to the 2010 Best Robotics Competition Total Recall. This year's game is from Capital Best in Austin, Texas. We're happy to bring you an exciting game this year. Total Recall will test your skills and challenge your minds while teaching you about product quality and process improvement. Now let's get to it. Total Recall is a sorting game played on a 24 foot by 24 foot playing field. The field is divided into quadrants or factories designated by four unique colors. The objects to be sorted consist of round gadgets and egg-shaped gizmos which come in a variety of colors. Gadgets are sorted by color while gizmos are sorted by their internal magnetic properties. Both automated and manual processes will be needed for a factory to be successful. A factory robot performs the automated tasks. A human process engineer takes part in the manual tasks. The objective of the game is to sort and package as many gadgets and gizmos as possible within a three minute factory shift. Some gadgets and gizmos will be declared defective and introducing them into the factory will affect the quality of your process. The effectiveness or quality of your process is measured by a factor known as process sigma. The more defective product that is introduced, the lower your process sigma will be. With less defective product, the process sigma is higher. The process sigma will be used as a bonus multiplier at key points in the competition. The maximum sigma value is 6. Robots can learn which gadgets and gizmos are defective by interfacing to the factory data port. Defective gadgets are designated by a unique random color. Defective gizmos are distinguished by their magnetic properties. There are two production lines within a factory, the gadget line and the gizmo line. The gadget line consists of the gadget OEM pool, the gadget scanning tube, a mobile recall trailer, and the gadget pack and ship center, which includes the sorting area, the packing tubes, and the docking port for the mobile recall trailer. The gizmo line consists of the gizmo pallet, the gizmo packages, and the gizmo pack and ship center, which includes the gizmo packing lids. Gadget processing begins when the factory robot docks the mobile recall trailer. The process engineer may then open the flow control valve on the gadget scanning tube, and six preloaded gadgets are released. Once opened, the process engineer can select additional gadgets from the OEM pool and introduce them to the production floor through the gadget scanning tube. Introducing gadgets to the production floor by any other method is not allowed. Factory robots must collect the gadgets exiting the gadget scanning tube and transport them to the manual sorting area. The process engineer sorts the gadgets, placing the defective ones into the docked mobile recall trailer and packaging the others in the clear, cylindrical tubes sorted by color. To increase the process sigma multiplier, robots must move defective gadgets in the mobile recall trailer to the product recall center before the end of the match. Gizmo processing is performed by the robot only. For gizmos to be scored, the robot must first move the cone-shaped gizmo packages from their starting position and insert them into the gizmo pack and ship center. The robot will then use onboard sensors to sort and avoid the defective gizmos on the gizmo pallet. Gizmos are selected from the pallet and placed inside the gizmo packages. The final point value of a package can be increased by sealing it with a flying disc. Be aware that any gadgets or gizmos that enter the production floor and have not been scored are considered defective and affect the process sigma multiplier for that product line. Scoring is based on the amount of product processed and the effectiveness of your process. Non-defective gadgets collected in the sorting area are worth two points each. Non-defective gadgets of the same color that are packaged in the plastic containers are worth three points each. Cone-shaped gizmo packages that are correctly placed at the pack and ship center are worth 50 points. Packaged gizmos are worth 10 points each. Non-defective gizmos and sealed packages are worth 20 points each. The process sigma multiplier is calculated for each line independently and applied at the end of each production run. Teams receive bonus points for scoring both gadgets and gizmos. This bonus is based on the process sigma for each product line. Your final score will depend on how quickly you can package the proper gadgets and gizmos and how effective your process is at eliminating the defective products.
good luck, and remember, play hard, play smart, play your best.